Well, good morning. Today is Friday, July 23rd. We do have birthdays today. Today is my nephew, who is my godson, PJ Patrick. Uh, it's his birthday. Doesn't watch my channel. Doesn't get a song. Also, it is uh, my nephew's son's first birthday. And uh, he's too little to hear me. So he doesn't get a song either. But Naomi, Naomi C., you're going to get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Naomi. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday because you're the only one other than my family who doesn't watch uh, having a birthday today. So have a great birthday. I don't have major plans for today. Hardly any plans. Um, Sophia's coming about 2 o'clock. Christy and Aaron have an afternoon wedding that they're going to. And then the reception's following afterwards. Everything's all in the same place. So uh, Sophia's going to spend the night. And then Alyssa is going for a consultation today to see about getting braces. So um, she is going to uh, come afterwards. So she probably won't be here till like 6 or 7 o'clock. And then Kylie's going to come and uh, just stay until 8 or 9 o'clock. Kylie is a very early to bed person. She goes to bed like 7.30, 8 o'clock, whereas uh, Alyssa and Sophia will probably be up till like 1 or 2 in the morning. And then since Kylie goes to bed so early, Kylie's an early riser, whereas it, Sophia and Alyssa, who sleep in very, very late, <laughs> um, they're, um, they don't get up till like noon. So, so she just says that she's going to stay as long as she can until it's her bedtime, and then in the morning she'll wait for them to call. I think she has a doctor's appointment in the morning anyhow, so she would have had to get up early anyway to go to the doctor's appointment. Uh, Alyssa, or not Alyssa, um, Kylie. So um, we got them coming tonight. All day yesterday, I kept thinking it was Friday. I don't know why. It just felt like a Friday. Maybe it's because I usually weigh myself on Fridays and I switched up my days to Thursday and it might have threw me off a little. I don't know. But when Jim was going to bed, he went to bed a little after 11 because he gets up at 5 to go to work. He prefers working afternoons. And to be honest with you, I prefer him working afternoons too. I like spending my morning with Jim rather than my evening because in the evening we don't really spend it together because Jim watched baseball and I know, Joan, I know you love your Phillies. I just cannot stomach baseball. And I played baseball. I was, the, I was either the shortstop or the pitcher on our softball team and I played softball, oh, at least 10 years. I know Christy was little. I played my weight didn't stop me from playing I played but um, I can't I and even then I can't I couldn't watch baseball I, it's just ugh. baseball I can't watch because it's so boring if it was five innings rather than nine you might have me but no nine is just too long uh, I'm not a big fan of basketball I remember when I used to play basketball in school I didn't play on a team or anything but like when you had gym class and they play basketball and then they put you in sets of three because they wanted everybody to get a chance to play I always every time I got the ball double dribbled and I never understood what double dribble was and I and they, they blow the whistle and call me out <laughs> and I never could figure out so I never got a chance to do a basket and then finally when I finally figured it out uh, my friend Mary Kay and I had a system whereas when we would score, the, the other team would score a goal, they would throw, she would throw the ball back in, she'd throw it to me, and then there would be, Sydney would already be down there, and I'd throw it to Sydney, and she'd make a basket. So we had a system working. I guess that was their way of telling me, don't bounce the ball, because <laughs> I just couldn't do that. And hockey is too fast. I have never, never, in all my years of watching hockey, as seen an actual goal being scored. Because I get bored, I get distracted, I look away, and then they go, he shoots, he scores! And then I turn and I look. I see the replay. I've never seen an actual goal being made. Um, soccer, I don't know anything about the game of soccer, other than when my grandsons played soccer, and even Sophia, when she played soccer for that one year. All they did was a bunch of kids running around trying to kick the ball. I, there was no system to it at all. My kids played soccer, too, and it was the same thing. They just... Can you hear my washing machine? It's off kilt. It's going to balance itself out. There, it did. <laughs> I, I didn't load it properly, probably. Um, but anyway, um, but my kids played soccer and it was the same thing. They, nobody knew the rules and they just ran around kicking the ball trying to get a goal. They didn't have positions. I mean, they had positions, but they never stayed in their position. So anyway, I don't even know how I got on to that track. It doesn't matter. 
I just ramble sometimes anyhow. Um, if you don't watch Kim, A Girl on Her Phone, you have to watch Kim, A Girl on Her Phone and just tune in for her porch chats. I just, I chuckle and laugh. Jim will come in there and he'll say, oh, you're watching your girl again. <laughs> she just makes me laugh. I love because she, inevitably some kind of a bug is going to fly by her and she's got her fly swatter out. So I told her I'm going to make little business cards that says, have swatter, will travel. Like Paladin, have, have gun, will travel. Um, because she's a hoot. <laughs> and she has an owl at the beginning of her, of her clips. Anyway, she's cute. If I remember, I'll put a clip to her channel. Go over there and subscribe. You won't be disappointed. You really won't. Also, I'll put one to Joan at Joan's Pointy Plate because she's she's really uh, inspiring. She really is inspiring. But anyway, so it's going to rain again today, which is kind of nice in a way if it's just a quick rain. But it's not going to be a quick rain uh, because my flowers really do need to be watered. They got a little overwatered with all the rain, and then we've had a couple hot days, and I should have watered them, but I thought, man, they got too much water in them. And, uh, but now they're looking like, water me, I'm thirsty. So we weren't supposed to get rain until, it wasn't supposed to start till midnight, but it looks kind of like we're gonna get like a scattered shower that's gonna come down. So I put my covers on my furniture I was hoping to be out here to read because I'm starting my book. I just started it, really. I'm not not far into it. Yeah, I'm only 20 pages into it. But so far, I get that the uh, it's an abused wife. So far, that's what that's what I've gotten out of it so far. But I'm hoping to finish that by tomorrow. I haven't got anything else to do. I've been having a pretty busy week this week. But anyway, I was telling you about the girls coming. I was hoping that they could swim. I told you yesterday my pool was a little cloudy, so I gave it a double dose of uh, liquid chlorine, put my regular chemicals in, and I got up this morning, and, it's, and the boys were in it, Sebastian and Oliver, and then Kylie, and they were like really stirring it up, and I thought that really might work, because we've got so much rain, so much humidity. It's You really got to gotta stay on top of it. You really Otherwise, you can lose it in a, in a minute. You can lose it in a minute. I have gone, not with this pool, with my other at my other house, like it was perfectly clear and I went to the grocery store and when I came back it was like green jello. It was it can turn that quick. So I don't want that to happen. So this morning I put a uh, shock treatment in. So I'm hoping that that works. So we'll see. I mean it's safe when you test it. It's safe to swim in but the boys were complaining because with their goggles they couldn't see under the water. Because <laughs> it was that cloudy. And then what else? But let me show you what I'm going to have for what I had. What I'm going to have. What I had for breakfast. What am I going to have? I already had it. Well, here we go. I decided to start calling it brunch, not breakfast, since it's uh, after breakfast and it's about lunchtime. Today is Friday, July 23rd. My quote is: "You'll never change your life until you change something you do daily." It's a 15-point brunch. Uh, the salad is zero with the pineapple, the tea. Oh, I forgot my egg. I don't need an egg. Um, two tablespoons of dressing is five points. I use the Kraft Thousand Island. Uh, zero. Uh, three points for half a cup of cottage cheese. Two points for my slice of toast. One, two points for my teaspoon of butter. And three points for an ounce of feta cheese. Since my breakfast was so high, or my brunch, I wanted to go ahead and figure my dinner. I will show you my dinner, but my dinner is going to be seven points. So I'll end up the day with 22 points. So you can have big hearty meals and still stay within your points. It wasn't really a breakfast, it was a brunch, and it's early morning, it's afternoon, but I always like to start off with good morning. But anyway, here's what I had to eat. I know, a salad for breakfast. I kind of eat different on Fridays anyhow. I don't eat meat, so um, I have to change it up a little bit that way. And then um, I wanted to make a big salad so that I could put some in the jars and see how well that holds up in the jars and see. Because next Friday is when I leave for my vacation. So it can rain all at once this week. I don't really care because as long as it stops by the time I go on vacation. I told you my perfect vacation day is one day of rain. But um, I, I've had enough rain. So I don't want any rain on my vacation. And then we've been uh, planning our meals. Um, so I have to really, really, really concentrate this week on losing at least my whole pound. I'm going to lose a, at least a whole pound this week. And then um, 
get together. I'm going to weigh out some little snack bags and get my snacks together for going up the lake because it's, it's going to be hard because I'm the only one. What? I lost my microphone. Where did it go? Look. Here it is. I don't know how much you were hearing. There. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Uh, anyway, um, but I'm the only one that's going to be watching my weight, I guess. Not so much on a diet, but watching my weight. Because uh, everyone else is going to be eating what they want to eat. And I'm not, and I'm not the type that's going to, like, oh, you should you be eating that? You know, like, I'm not going to be that. And they're not like that to me, like, because I am going to get a banana split <clears throat> one day. There's an ice cream place up there that makes the best banana split. I will show you the picture of the banana split when I eat it. I'm telling you, right, full disclosure, I'm having a banana split. I'm having all three scoops. I'm having all three toppings. I'm having the whipped cream. I'm having the nuts. I'm having the cherry on top. I'm having that. I know that. I, I know that before I even go. So I have to really watch what I'm eating because it's not really that one piece of pizza. It's not that one banana split. It's not that two or three donuts that you ate that uh, keeps you from losing weight. It's the fact that you're not tracking. It's, you're not keeping track of what you're eating. And I don't think I showed you my breakfast yet, did I? Well, I'll show you to you here if I didn't. And if I did, you already saw it, so don't worry. But here we go if I didn't. But anyway, like I was saying, it's, it's not about... Um, the little indulgences that you have once in a while. Uh, when you're on vacation, you want to enjoy your vacation. You, you know, like, you have 51 other weeks that you can really stay on track. And that doesn't mean that that one week that you have to go completely off the rails. And I do not intend to go completely off the rails. I've planned my meals. I know what I'm going to have each day. Um, I haven't set a recipe or, like, a menu plan for the week. I have a general idea of what I'm going to have. I'm bringing the proper foods so that I can follow the plan. And um, and have fun. I really am. I'm going to have fun. We're going to eat out one night. And so I'm going to eat what I want when I go out to eat. So <clears throat> of the seven days that I'm there, it's only two times that I can really say that I'm going to be going off track. And, and I know it's going to be a big... A wide turn, as they say. Like a, don't you get annoyed with people that are going to turn right and then they got to go way left to go turn right? I don't understand. Why? What are they doing that for? I, I don't. I just don't get it. But uh, anyway, that's like I said. I'm going to have fun on my vacation. Um, I'm going to get exercise in. I'm going to be swimming in the lake. I'm going to be going for my walks because it's a beautiful little area, so I can go for walks. It'll be new sights that I haven't seen before. Um, I'm going to bring my book to track. I have my phone to track. You saw the good gifts I got for tracking. That, I'm going to keep tracking. I, I can always find something on that list that I'm going to want for it. But um, I'm just going to look for every opportunity that I can to stay on track and to be proud of myself. I don't care what other people think. I don't care that people say, you know, like, you know, like, ooh, this is so good, you ought to have this. You could be on a diet another day. Not that they would say that, but if they did, I, I'm not going to be tempted by it because... My weight loss is, means a lot to me, and reaching my goals this year means even more than having ice cream two days, because I'm sure they're going to have ice cream more than one day. I've already just decided I'm only going to have ice cream once. I know they're going to have it more than once, because there's the Dairy Queens up there, and then there's that really nice ice cream parlor that's up there, and then when you go for a walk down by the beach in town, there's an ice cream parlor right on the beach, you know. So, I mean, ice cream is everywhere, and I think in any resort town, ice cream is anywhere, but... Um, you know, I wish I would have lost all my weight by now, but I can't change what happened in the past. I can learn from what happened in the past, and I can move forward from the past, and just know that I can do better than I have been doing in the last six months. I think that um, I kind of needed a little break, but my break is over, and uh, I'm back on track. And I just like the feeling of of knowing that this is good. Usually on my weigh-in day, I kind of go crazy because I think it's a that's my treat day and I can go crazy. And uh, I didn't do that at all yesterday. I stayed right within my points. Now, granted, four pieces of French toast seems like a lot, but those are like thin slices of bread. I know I'm making excuses, but I don't care. And they were only, what, three points, I think, for the four slices. And the egg was zero, and the, the syrup was zero, uh, one point. So... And it was filling, and it was a dinner. Dinners are supposed to be, a, well, not supposed to be, but in my mind, dinners are supposed to be a little heavier. 
I liked when we could eat. Sometimes when Jim was working afternoons, we would eat our main meal before he left for work. But then he didn't like that because he didn't like working on a heavy stomach. So um, that's why we stopped doing that. But I did kind of like that because I have my big meal. Because then having a lighter meal later, later in the day kind of kept me better on track. But anyway, so let me see what I, I got to go see what happened with my washing machine. I, I can't hear that it's still working. So I think it went off kilter and then it's like it's flashing its lights now. I don't know if I did to my, I think I, I don't know if I got what's going on here, but I can pop my thumb, but this morning I couldn't pop it and I thought I broke it somehow during the night. I think I laid on it the wrong way or something. And uh, like right this bone right here, it almost, I, I think it's arthritis to be honest with you, but it's just in this thumb. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if there's a difference. No, you can't really see the difference. You can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know. It pops. You know, like when you pop your knuckles, that's what it sounds like. I know, you're babbling, Sandy. You're babbling. Babbling, Brooke. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't rain so I can get out here and read a little bit. But let's go see what's going on with that washing machine. And the next time you see me will be dinner because I'm only eating two meals today. Uh, for dinner, well, you'll see. I'm not going to ruin the surprise. You only have to wait a hot second. Okay, for dinner, I'm going to have a wrap. I can never wrap these things the right way, but it's going to fold over like this, and then I'm going to hold it while I eat. <laughs> but anyway, i got some cucumbers, some green onions, a couple crackers, a sugar-free jello pudding, my water, and an iced tea. It is an eight-point dinner. Cereal for my tuna, celery, cucumber, tomato. Instead of the tomato, I have green onions. Uh, one tablespoon of Miracle Whip is one point, one extreme wellness wrap is one point, two points for my sugar-free pudding, three points for my Ritz crackers, and one point for my cheese stick. Eight point dinner, I hit my mark right on the money. So let's go eat because I'm a little hungry. Well, I do have the girls. They're in the pool and it's raining. It rained off and we had like a, a sudden scattered shower earlier this afternoon. Thankfully, I had already put my covers on my furniture. Otherwise, my furniture would outside would have got soaked. And I had a very good victory myself today because Jim and the girls wanted McDonald's for dinner. And I don't eat meat on Friday, so I wasn't tempted to get anything meat-wise. But I do love a good strawberry shake or, yeah, I think it's a strawberry shake from uh, McDonald's. And I do love their French fries. <laughs> so when I was working, uh, there was like a, um, like a strip that had like all the fast food places. And uh, I liked the, uh, I would go to Burger King because I really liked the Whoppers. So I would pull into the Burger King and get my Whopper. And then I would pull out of the Burger King and then go into the next driveway and uh, go to McDonald's and I would get my French fries and my pop. <laughs> I know it was like silly, but <clears throat> it stayed hot enough when I got back to the to work to eat it. But So I didn't get French fries and I didn't get a strawberry shake. And I really did enjoy my tuna fish sandwich. Not as much as I would have enjoyed a Big Mac, I'll be honest. But I wouldn't have had meat anyhow because I don't eat meat on Fridays. I can eat meat on Fridays. It's not a law anymore, church law. Uh, it's just something I choose not to have. So I don't have, I have a tuna fish sandwich every Friday. Um, and I had, when I was sitting back here watching TV while I was eating my meal, I had two hummingbirds at my window. And I'm not feeding my hummingbirds this year because it was so much work last year. And I only got one bird and it didn't come every single day. And I thought, this is so much work, because they're a lot of work. They really are. You have to take the feeder down every two or three days. And if it's really hot, you should really take it down every day, because it, especially since I get the western sun, uh, it beats down on it. <clears throat> and so it would like they would get sick, and I didn't want them to get sick. So um, I uh, didn't put the feeders out. And this is the first sighting that I've seen of hummingbirds. So I don't know if they're just late coming or if there's just somebody that remind, remembered my house from last year and came. But unfortunately, I didn't have any food out there for them. So um, other than that, I have nothing else to talk about. Just Jim and I watched some shows. We watched Good Girls, which I never really liked. I liked the first season. But then it just kind of got monotonous, and then Jim really liked it, and I, we do like to try to watch some shows together, and uh, the ending was just crap. It really was. It was, it was just dumb. It was just there was no other word for it. It was just dumb. And then we watched The Hustler with Craig Ferguson, 
And uh, we always try to guess who it is before they even start. And we both guessed right this week. Jim guessed right last week, and I guessed right the week before. But this is the first time we both guessed right at the same time. We both picked the same person at the exact same time. And that was before we even had any clues. It's just something about the look. She looked like a hustler. And then what else did I do? That's about it. Oh, I measured out my snacks for my uh, vacation next week. I had bought some um, Ritz crackers, and so I measured them out. The, the what else? Did I, I got some of those. It's like a Chex mix, but it's a Giardelli. Giardelli because it was on sale. So I got the Giardelli um, mix, and so I portioned those out. I had some um, nacho chips, and I portioned those out. And um, you know, because I like to have some crackers or something with a sandwich. And then Mary called, and we talked a little bit about our menu for the week. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to eat, and what I can eat, and what I can't eat. And then I put a couple of salads in those jars, just two jars, just to see how it works. And that's it. Not much else that I do. So never got to my book I was going to read today. And, you know, I get into moods, and I can just sit down and I finish a book in a day, or, and then other things I just kind of, like, drift off and on. And I don't know. Carrie told me a good book to read, The Good Girl. So I ordered it from the library. It's supposed to be here Monday or Tuesday. So, Okay, that's about it. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.